for the continuous here. Now, one project that seems to be in development for, like, seems like forever has been a film adaptation of the novel The Devil in the White City. Now, this is actually a movie that I remember, like, Leo DiCaprio was going to star in, Martin Scorsese was going to direct, but then they decided to uh, cut it from a movie to a uh, streamer release uh, for Hulu, and Hulu decided to uh, pass on it. Like, Keanu Reeves was even attached to star on Hulu at one point. Well, it looks like the series is still happening here. Uh, this comes from Deadline, saying that the Devil in the White um, City series isn't dead. In February 2019, it was announced that Leo DiCaprio and Martin Scorsese were exec producing a series for Hulu based on the Eric Lawson's uh, book, The Devil um, in the White City, Murder, Magic, and Madness at the Fair That Changed um, America. In March 2023, uh, it was reported that Disney-owned streamer has decided to ex um, exit the project. The news came after Keanu Reeves and Todd director Todd Field left the series in 2022. Uh, top it off, Jeremy Allen White, of course, who's on uh, Hulu's The Bear, Angela, and director Matt Ross, who also did uh, Captain Fantastic, were on board to uh, the project before Hulu dropped out. Speaking with Deadline, producer uh, Stacey Scherer revealed that she's um that she's still involved in the project. When asked, um, that means uh, fans can expect uh to see the Devil in the White City series sometime soon. Sh uh, Scherer said, "Uh, I mean, I hope so. It's not a minute, uh, but it's." But it is not uh, ever far from my mind. She also confirmed that DiCaprio and Scorsese, along with Rick Yarn and Jen Davison, are um, still involved with the series. Uh, now here's what the description um, reads: uh, Two men uh, and uh, two men and unusually uh, adept uh, at his uh, chosen work embodied. Um, an element of the uh, great dynamic that uh, characterized America's rush um, towards the 20th century. The audit tech was uh, Daniel Hudson Burn um, Burn Burnham, uh, the fairest brilliant director of, of work and the builder of uh, many of the country's most uh, important structures, including the Flatiron Building in New York City and Eunice Square uh, in Washington, D.C. Uh, the murder uh, was Henry H. Holmes, a young doctor who, in the uh, Melgan um, Perry of the White City, built his uh, World's Fair um, Hotel just west of the fairgrounds, a tortured uh, palace complete um, with the section uh, table, with section uh, table, gas chambers, and 3,000 degrees uh, crematorium. Burnham uh, overcame tremendous obstacles and tragedies. As he organized the towns of Frederick Law, um, Amas, Amas, uh, uh, Charles McKim, Louis uh, Selvin, and um, others who transformed Swampy uh, Jackson Park into the White City, while Holmes used uh, the attraction of the uh, Great Fair and his own satanic charms to lure uh, scores of young women um, to their deaths. Which makes the story all more chilling um, is that Holmes really lived uh, walking the grounds of that dream city uh, by the lake. And, you know, Hulu's pretty great when it comes to true crime stories. So a little disappointed that they that they pass up on this. Uh, I mean, no word on where, like, where it's going to end up. Uh, now, um, I could totally see this maybe ending up on Apple, maybe Amazon, uh, Max probably, who knows. But, uh... Yeah, it's going to be a see, but I'm glad to see that still, you know, happening, but, uh, we'll have to see when this thing actually comes to fruition. Anyway, let me leave you guys, what are your thoughts on the film adaptation, oh, the film adaptation, the series adaptation of The Devil in the White City, No Longer Dead? You know, are you even interested in seeing a uh, adaptation of this? Uh, have you ever read the book it's based on? Do you like the sound of it? Drop comments below, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This is Simi Simon.